summer road trip turned tragic for a Colorado family as they journeyed through Missoula last month. An out of control pickup truck slammed into their RV on Interstate 90. The results were deadly. But as MTN's Jill Valley explains, when they were at their worst, Missoula was at its best. And now this family is saying thank you to the town that saved their lives. It's a summer afternoon, August 2nd. The Diaz family is heading home to Colorado after a road trip in their RV. They made it as far as East Missoula. When Tanya Diaz at the wheel saw an out of control pickup truck heading right towards her. And I was like, oh, we missed him. The second I thought that, it was crash right into my face. The pickup was on its side when it hit, slamming into the driver's side, then sliding down the length of the entire 35 foot RV. Something tore into Tanya's left arm, cutting it almost clean through and trapping her in the torn steel. Because right when it hit, oh my God, the pain, Jill. It was like nothing I'd ever felt in my life. It was excruciating. I remember just, and I'm holding onto the steering wheel and I just start curling up. In shock, Tanya kept driving, afraid of rolling the RV. Her partner finally coaxed her to the side of the interstate, but who was hurt and how badly? Missoula County Sheriff's Corporal Zach Sargent and Deputy Jason Jones were on the scene quickly. To chaos, not only was Tanya gravely wounded, but her father Al, who was sitting in the back seat, was dead. CPR could not revive him, and they weren't sure Tanya was going to survive. Definitely had that, that look on her face like she was, she was going to die if, if we didn't do something. What they did was stop the bleeding with a tourniquet and wait for the jaws of life to cut Tanya free. They helped her seriously injured son and assisted the six others in that RV. A coordinated effort to save a family. On this terrible and tragic day, there were moments of grace. From the doctor who pulled up on the crash scene to help. From the expert surgeon who was able to reattach Tanya's arm. And the fact that two Missoula County Sheriff's deputies were carrying their own personal tourniquets at the time. My main purpose when I first started carrying one was either for me or for one of my partners if something bad were to happen. We all, we all carry them for us, but I think when we get to, to something like that, it's pretty obvious that we're going to use it. From what the doctor said, without that tourniquet, I probably would have bled out by the time I got to the hospital. Tanny is home recovering in Colorado Springs, but even after the worst day of her life and the death of her beloved father, Tanny and her family are reaching out to the deputies, to the highway patrol, to St. Patrick Hospital, and the people of Missoula who saved them. The whole Missoula experience, I mean, I can't, I can't say enough because it was, it was an overwhelming outpouring of, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Are you okay? What can we do? There was so much positive that came out of this and so much love that I can't, I can't be sad. And I and I owe it all to my family and Missoula. It was people who donated money, a condo to stay in. They gave them clothes and shoes. Strangers offered them hugs and prayers. And in the end, maybe something more. That entire town saved my life, saved my, took in my family, helped my attitude, built me up, fixed a lot of things, not only in my shoulder, in my back, and all of that, but just mentally and emotionally. I didn't know that people cared that much. In Missoula, Jill Valley, MTN News. And Jill tells us Corporal Zach Sargent was able to get the tourniquet on without much arm left to get the bleeding stopped. Both he and Deputy Jason Jones are now nominated for life-saving awards for what they did that day. Tanya is also grateful to Montana Highway Patrol Trooper Andrew Novak and Dr. Gary Wilstein. The driver of the pickup truck involved in the crash was not seriously hurt. 